there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me as we continue with our six brave men and women in Going Medieval. So, let's get running. They need to eat, they need to drink, and then they can get back to work. And, yeah, they need to do some work. Well, they seem to be able to use the seats, so that's good. Let's hope they can finish this room quickly so we can get to the next one. We have a sleeping room, we have a relaxing room, we have a working room, we have a food room, but, well, we always need more. For instance, we need to store all these uh, goods that are outside right now. I want to get them inside, but that will take some time before we can actually achieve that. So let's hope we can achieve that soon. Now what I would like to do is, this will be the relaxing room, so things like these will also go in there. So, let's set this up. That they can uh, worship in this place and do, do all different kinds of things that they need to do. Right, we'll set up two right here. 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 Well. I guess this should work. Give them plenty of room to relax and to do whatever they want. Well, they're already working in the garden. These are trying to fix everything they need to fix here. To look outside, see if we have plenty of wood. Some branches here. Oh, there's wood here. Alright, so we do have some wood, so that's good. We could just harvest these. I don't think that'll be a problem. Gives us some extra food. Now it's autumn, so as soon as winter comes, we need to have enough food stored. Right now we do have a good amount of food in store. 40 meals, 119 red currant, 20 rough wine. So we are pretty stocked, but... Well, we can always use more. Of course, we can always use more people as well. That would be very nice. Get a few extra. I'll play it on speed 3 for a little while, so a lot of things can happen. Right here they come. Gathering wood. And then putting all those constructions. We did start working on our own forest. But that's going to take time. There's still some wood left out here. But we need to cut down more trees to get all the wood that we need. Yeah, those are probably the closest trees, so yeah, let's just keep it like this. Botany skill is now level 17. That's going pretty well. Yeah, since everything turned red, that means we don't have any wood to finish these. Ah, they're cutting down trees, so now they can. Perfect. But we need a lot of wood to finish all the constructions that we're doing. Only 75 for the backgammon table, and we're building a few, so that's going to need lot. Alright, let's click this, because I really want them to start working on the next room as well. So we'll set it up like this, so they can start to work on this room when there's no wood available. You will do that, while others do the construction here. Some settlers are exhausted. Who's exhausted and why? They all have a good schedule. Christian, well, he probably should go to sleep a little bit early this time. You can go to sleep right now. And then... When he is asleep... Yeah. Just give him one longer night, and then later on... We'll fix it. So yeah, the hours are passing by. He'll have one good night's sleep. And then the rest will go to bed as well. Cutbird is doing a nice job. Cutting this open. And they're now probably all asleep. Yeah, so alright, this should fix the sleeping problem because sometimes when they are a bit exhausted, they just need a little bit of extra sleep to, to get completely rested again. So just give it to them, they'll be fine. And now he can work very hard again. 
But especially in the beginning, with only a handful of settlers, it can be a bit of a problem. Later on, when you have like eight or nine, things will go a lot faster. But, well, I usually just need more people anyway. Right, they're praying down here, or up there. We want them to start praying down here, but they have to finish them first. So let's hope today is the day that they can fix a bit more of this room. To ensure that we don't have all that stuff up there. Because when we get attacked, all this stuff will probably be destroyed. And that's not too good. We could probably already deconstruct this one, because we already have one downstairs. And yeah, there comes a pile of wood out of that, so that we can use again. That's nice. We're all beginning to work again now, or at least they should. Yeah, they're bringing in the wood, so that's good. Right here, they're mining. Things look okay. Of course, they need to tend the garden to make sure that we produce plenty of different types of food. Let me check how much did we set it to 250. All right, we have 200, so we've got a good amount of bricks to better our structure. But I'm not going to do that yet. Because I really want to finish a bit more downstairs. Ooh, we really need to work on our stockpile, I think, inside. Need a better stockpile. That's what this room is for. To store books, etc. Oh, no, we are already storing the books. So, to store some other stuff. Ooh, we're getting a lot of salt in here. It's nice if we want to use food that lasts longer. So that can be helpful to us. And... Well... They're slowly bringing in the wood. And gathering the clay for the clay pit. I don't think anyone is actually cutting trees at the moment. Not plants. They're mining first or they're growing and harvesting first. So no one is actually cutting any trees. So let's get this guy. First thing he do now is cut plants and then he'll go and cook. So make sure that he cuts the plants down here. So we get the wood. Ah, there they come. Perfect. Two of them are now cutting trees. How long before these are ready? Well, that takes days. Oh, that's a bit too long. He's for my pleasure. This is very nice. That's a lot of salt. I'll put that to good use in the future. And it's bedtime again. So, yeah. Not too much work done. Or at least not everything that I wanted done. But still, they're busy, so... Every day passes, we get stronger, we get more stuff... We get a bit a bigger hideout, so it's still okay. Come on, get up. Yep, there they go. They'll all eat and drink and pray and have fun. Yep, they're playing. Well, that should keep everyone happy, and that's a good thing. I guess we could have done a little bit better planning, because if we have the sleep room and the leisure room closer together, then that saves time, because now they travel a bit more. Although the food is here, so they get from there. If we get this open, they can... Get our food and or a drink from the stockpile and go here and relax. So, ooh, our influence is rising. Flourishing Eastbourne grows more influential in the region with each day that passes. This is sure to attract more settlers and perhaps garner unwanted attention. All right. Well, more settlers is always good. Let's hope we don't get too many 
unfriendly people. Though I think we are ready for most of them, so that'll be fine. And of course more settlers means more work gets done quicker, so... I'm all for that. So are they really working on cutting the trees or are they already done? They're already done and most of the wood is already used, so... Let's select a few more trees to be chopped down. I think we have a few closer. Especially those. So now we have a lot of trees that can be cut down. Let's hope they will. Yeah. Alright. Still a lot that needs to be finished here. Well, they're going pretty quickly. I like it that way. Now he's cutting a tree. Alrighty then. Works. And we got two play ta three play tables ready now. So we can delete the second one here. That'll give us 40 wood as well. Mining skill 29. Well, oh, that's pretty high. That should make things go faster and faster. Alright, they're getting the wood. To finish the flooring, but also to uh, just finish the rest of the building. So. Curious to see how that'll go. We'll wait and see. Still doing a very good job mining here. Alright, they're going to sleep again. Five are asleep. One is still working. Get back here and go to sleep because you're wasting a lot of sleep time. Well, it's probably my fault because I told them to get a wood pretty far away. Let's hope he gets rested well. That is important. Right, next day coming up. There they are. Well, let's keep an eye out on our settler, see if he gets uh, tired quicker. Seem to have gotten a pretty good sleep still, so... That's why I have these, these decent sleeping hours. I think you can do it one less if they go to sleep straight away, but... Well, as you can see, sometimes they're busy doing their job and then they won't go to sleep straight away, so that's a problem. Alright, they're mining, cutting trees, constructing, so all the jobs that need to be done are done. And they're all done simultaneously, but that's okay. Right, the fires are going, so it's good temperature here. Just need more wood. And I would really like to get a good storage going here. Now, I think building materials are very important, but they're the least to decay, so they're not going to be the ones we'll put down there. I think we're going to put then some weapons there. Food and books we already have, so this should be something like a weapons room, etc. And then we can later build a storage room for all the uh, materials we gather. Probably somewhere here. I think that's a good spot. We can already put the layout here, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, this should be it. Yeah, this is not right. I have to do it like this. That works. Alright, let's do one more. This as well. 
it's always good to already have the layout. They can't reach it now anyway, so there's no problem. They won't just go there and not do other jobs. This one is a bit too big, of course. Ooh. A helpful helpmate. Well, who is he? Well, he seems nice. He's good at tailoring. He has a thing for marksman, medicine and melee. All right, welcome. I'll tend to you in a minute. First, we'll have to finish this layout. All right, well, that looks good. Hmm. Can't even keep up. That's how fast they're going at the moment. And this is almost done. We got both the shrines. So we can delete these two. Bye bye. Bye. That'll save some wood as well. And that means that we don't have any of those activities outside. So as soon as it starts freezing, they don't have to get out in the cold to get some leisure, etc. All right, let's work on this. We'll copy the schedule. That's fine. Let's see. What are you good at? Good at hunting, good at tailoring, of course. Well, I'm going to make you do some mining and some hauling, because we really need someone to haul a lot of resources. Now, she's good at marksmanship, so also get a ranged weapon. Let's lose your gear, because sometimes they get unhappy with that. And afterwards, she can just pick up new gear, that's fine. This is what she dropped, that's okay. Well, they can all move around now. They're all asleep. We still have enough beds. We have room for even one more settler, so that's good. We don't have to get extra beds straight away. This room appears to be completed. Very nice. So now it's time to uh, get holding some stuff. And keep planning all these rooms. Probably next one will be this room, because we can store a lot of construction materials here that they can use right there. For instance, wood and clay, etc. So that'll be a thing. I think that'll be useful. And we could, of course, tell them to start working on the um, flooring right here. Because that's not a real issue if you have to just add some extra flooring. That's no problem. Well, the miners are doing a very good job. Mining very quickly. So far, no attacks, I was going to say. But there it is. Third attack incoming. We'll be attacked by six people. Well, I think we can handle them. Let's go to our village. Well, it's not like really a village. It's more like a keep. And... We'll call in everyone. I'll pause the game for a second to set it up. We'll put these people up here. You go up there. You go up there. So they'll be close to the door. Because then they can fire all the time. And the rest should be placed behind the door. So that's what we'll do with these. Go stand right there. You go stand behind the door. And you go stand there as well. I'll unpause. Now they can all come. Now I think three people to to be able to get outside and hunt anyone or whatever is good. Although I would like to get an extra bowman. So the next person that also comes into our village will also be a bowman. Because the more bows we have, the more we can keep them at a distance. They should be coming in from here. So that's always better. All right, they can get down here, then they can get down there, and then they can just walk towards us and attack. So they'll probably be coming from this side. The attack has started. I think it's going to take some time, so we can um, speed it up a bit until they get closer, of course. This will line them up pretty nicely. Ooh, are they going to go all the way around? No, they're going this way. Perfect. Oh, he's going down. Up again, yeah. All right, here they come. Let's slow it down a bit. Let's see. They can fire already, and doing a lot of damage to the first guy. Now, probably with one more bowman, they would have already killed him, but it's okay. And as you can see, they're straight going for the stuff standing outside. 
That's why I wanted all of this stuff that we had out here to be inside, so they can't destroy it, so we don't have to rebuild it. Well, two down, three to go, or four to go, but, well, Boometh is almost gone. He's gone, so three down, three to go. Let's get Martin. Or Herfrit or Bernstein. I really like those names. All right, this guy's almost dead. Dead. This guy's almost dead. After that, they will still get this guy, so that's interesting. Let's see who they're missing. That's not too good. He's trying to destroy the door, which will be destroyed pretty soon. If they kill this guy, he'll stop. Yeah, he destroyed the door, but now they're all fighting him, so that's nice. Yeah, Cutbert got hit, so he's now. They're not doing a very good job with their bows at the moment. Sometimes they do better. These guys are both almost dead now, so yeah, we won. Alright, let's kill the last guy while he tries to flee. Miss, miss, miss. Come on. Hit him with an arrow. How hard can it be? Alright, let's attack him. Well, all those arrows don't do a thing. Only a few hit points left. It's fine, they can go back. We won anyway. Let's go back to work. Gather all this stuff, so that's nice. Is there any stuff in... Now, this is a good chance, because we do have bricks, so we can't get a brick door yet. That's unfortunate. Because if we could... We could get the, uh, the brick door. Oh, the reinvent, reinforced door. All right, so we'll just put in a new wooden door then. That's fine. We got through this attack pretty nicely, so don't worry about it. In the future, we will make a clay brick building because that's way stronger. And we get a reinforced door. Now, one of them is starving, so we need to tend his wounds. They're doing right now, so that's nice. Wounds tended, perfect. Well, they're still constructing and mining. It's autumn day six, so we're almost halfway through the autumn. Then winter comes, which will be pretty harsh, I think. Usually it gets really cold. Luckily for us, most of our things are, in, are down here, so... Alright, there's research available. Decorative structures. Yeah, I'm not going to get decorative stuff. Alright. Mabel is hauling stuff to the stockpile. That's her job. Let's hope she does a good job so things get cleaned up. There's a lot of stuff laying around. There's food here. Linen cloth, etc. That needs to get a decent place. Now we could also start to make a few pieces of winter clothing, of course. We are with two, four, six, seven people, so let's make seven pieces of winter cloth to make sure that we have plenty of those. We can add another wooden beam here. That means we only have to place one more to finish the wooden beams in that room. Now, as you know, this game is still being developed. If you load the game, you can click the uh, screen. You can click uh, the thing that is about the planning. And they're planning a lot of fun stuff for this game. So I'm just hoping that a new update will come out at some point. Bringing extra structures and, and things like animal handling, etc. So that you can keep your own animals and you can talk to enemies and make them join your cause or whatever. Those things are all in the works. I just don't know when, but I hope soon enough. Because I think that'll be a lot of fun to have those available to us. This game still has great potential for a lot more add-ons. Also, you can be attacked by a trebuchet, but we can't build like these real big fixed defense works, which I would really love to do. So I hope they will add that too. It is on the list for things to be added, so... I really hope that the development of this game goes pretty well. We can 
and still have a lot more fun. All right, how far along are these trees? Ooh, they're getting there. That's nice. We just need to wait another day. And then we can chop down a decent amount of wood. All right, all the works are done here in the mining. So let's make sure all the flooring gets done. And we can assign this to be something like an armory. Or we can already do that, actually. The warfare stockpile. Should we do the whole room? I don't know. Let's just do it. Who cares? So all the warfare stuff gets brought here. Probably do apparel as well. So all the clothing gets here as well. I think that's good. Marble's starting to bring in stuff. She's our hauler, so that's very good. Now, since there's a lot of jobs to be done, hauling is the latest job on the list, so that's the one that will be done last. That's why I prioritized this for one, because your stuff will decay if it's not stored correctly. So we really need someone to start storing everything. And only when that's done can relax and do different things. All right, we can do stone cutting or preserving food. Well, I think I'm going to go with... Pres Ooh, they're moving them around. I'm going to go with preserving food. And... We should build a smokehouse. At least somewhere. Or we can build a smokehouse there. Perfect. Well, I do want my miners to do cut this out. Because then they can just walk from the food... Not like this, but like that. It's probably about the same distance, but it's okay. We need this to be cut out anyway. Or at least I want it to be cut out anyway. Because then they can walk straight through this corridor to the room that they want to go to. Still sleeping. Well, this should probably get these trees ready. Ten hours, six hours, all right. Just a few more hours, but somewhere today those trees will be ready. They've been doing quite some clearing. All right, we should need to select this stockpile and get the apparel stuff out of it and the warfare stuff out of it. Otherwise, they'll put it in here as well, and we want it downstairs. And I notice right now our pyre is gone. Now, that can be a thing. Since we don't have that many warfare stuff yet, we could just build our pyre here as well. So that we can burn the bodies inside and that won't be destroyed anymore. So let's do that. Let's get a pyre going there and start burning some bodies. I believe there's something making them less happy when they cross those bodies all the time. So they want to get rid of them. And why not get rid of them by simply burning them? Of course, if one of our own dies, I'll try and put it in a grave. But why do that with enemies? I don't see why we should do that. All right, let's make a few of these meals. What do they need for it? Raw meat and fuel. All right. Well, we don't have any meat yet, so we need to do some hunting to get meat. We'll do that later on. Alright, let's put in a beam. Same thing on this side. A beam and a door. So all rooms are separated from each other. I think that's good. We don't need to do that in here. That's fine. We need some supports. Because it looks nice. Alright, so the corridors are getting in there. Our pyre is done, so let's set it to forever. Let's just burn those bodies. We're really bringing in the uh, weapon stuff. So Mabel is doing a good job. Still working down there. Yeah, these trees are done, so let's tell them to cut them. Before the winter comes want that wood. Still working on that part. 
I'm not going to tell them to straightly mine another room. Give them a little bit of time to do some hauling and some other works in our little town. And then we'll dig another room. But right now, they'll probably go to sleep soon. And we're busy half an hour. So this is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to read more about my plans in the future, etc., go to my Patreon page where you can just read the public posts. And at least get notified when I'm going to stream or when I plan to do something different. I'll notify you there. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.